Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Matikan. Today we are going to talk about Pega, how it's being used by companies, what problems it solves. But before we started, I would like to ask you to subscribe my channel, like the video and leave a comment below. I will try to make more videos about Pega and its solutions. Uh, if you are ready, let's get started. So what's Pega? Pega is a software company that helps businesses to streamline their processes and improve their customer experiences. What I mean by that, uh, the PEGA basically automate processes and it does that by using its tools and local lo development. So who uses PEGA? PEGA is being used by um, by big companies like Google, Ford, Cisco, Toyota, Verizon, and so on. And it's been widely used by a different industries like healthcare, insurance, and, and even by government. Um, I would like to talk about lockout development uh, in PEGA. Um, what's the difference between low and traditional development? So basically, um, Traditional development, you use a programming language or an ID to, to build a software and you mainly write code to do that. Uh, but but the but in low-code development, you don't have to uh, write a code or something to build something. It's mainly um, using the blocks, uh, predefined pre uh, elements, you drag and drop. It doesn't mean that you always going to use that. Um, you may still write some uh, code, custom codes, but uh, 90, uh, 80 or 90 percent of the time you are just going to use predefined blocks that will help you to, um, to complete the task that given to you. I will share um, something with you guys here. So first of all, I would like to start with this one. Uh, who uses Pega? If you go to pega.com slash customers, you can see the list of companies that uses Pega. Uh, it's, and it's, it's expanding. What products Pega offer? Pega has its uh, local development tool and it's, it's, it's being used by different industries and you can see the list of applications here and like mentioned here and let's go to the uh pega platform so let me start with this one guys um pega uses a a platform called pega dev studio pega platform it has so many features that you can use but uh, because today's video's goal is to talk about Pega, I'm not going to the, uh, talk in detail about everything, but in future videos I will, uh, will share more videos about them. So basically, um, I was talking about um, local development tool, how you can achieve or automate the processes. Uh, here in Pega, we have a... Um, case type called delivery request this is a business process you place order you have multiple uh, stages of that process and at the end you have the resolution process but during these processes you have to have multiple um, operations like decisions or creating something sending in email uh, sharing something different type of things can be done uh, by Pega, uh, simply uh, drag and drop. Um, what's behind these uh, labels? So if you see uh, this flow specifically for um, fulfillment, you can see that we have flow elements here which we drag and drop manually, um, update uh, to make to meet our needs. But on the other hand, you, you can have multiple um, functions. The, here our functions are called activity. Uh, activity is something you uh, 
try to make something like assign a value to a property or uh, make a database connection or change, send an email or have a when rule, if else condition like this one. But but earlier, as I mentioned, um, it, it's not always you use these blocks. You may still have to write some Java code like like mentioned here, uh, but it's not it's not common, uh, but 90 or 80% of the time you're gonna use um, the capabilities of Pega platform. And sometimes, yeah, you may need to use uh, custom Java code to achieve something. But let me show you something. You may ask this question. Um, what, what happens even though you drag and drop something here, does it mean that uh, it is like this in background. No, it's not. Uh, whatever we do here uh, actually uh, converted to a Java code in background like this one. So I will, if you come um, to a, an activity like this one, click on Actions, View Java, it will show you the all the uh, the code that's being converted to Java in the background. So what we can understand from here is, even though we use local development tool, everything in background is going to be translated to a programming language. In this case, Pega uses Java in background. So guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment your question or suggestions. I will try my best to upload new videos uh, about Pega and its solutions. Thank you guys.